Solve the following system of equations by substitution. 2x plus 3y equals 11, x minus 4y equals 0. When we're solving a system of equations algebraically, our goal is to reduce this system of two equations to one equation, and in doing so, to get rid of one of the unknowns. So we'd have one equation with one unknown. Substitution accomplishes this by substituting one of the equations into the other one in such a way that it eliminates one of the variables. To illustrate here, I'll take the second equation and rewrite it as x equals 4y. The reason I did that is that now anywhere I see x, I can replace it with 4y. This is helpful if I go to the first equation and replace the x with 4y, then the first equation will only have y's in it. I can solve that equation for y, and that'll give me half the answer, and I can then find x from that for the other half of the answer. So when you're solving by substitution, you want to look for a variable somewhere that doesn't have any coefficient other than 1. So here I noticed that x was by itself, so it makes it easy to solve for it and get x equals 4y. Carrying out this process, I take the 4y and replace x with that, since x equals 4y. And I'm doing this in the first equation because I could do it in the second equation legally, but it wouldn't accomplish anything. It wouldn't tell me anything useful. But doing it in the first equation does do something useful. Now I can solve this for y. 2 times 4y is 8y, and then combining that with the 3y, we get 11y, and that equals 11, so y therefore equals 1. We're still not done, that's only half the answer. We're looking for a combination of x and y. But we know, remember, that x, whatever it is, equals 4 times y. So if y is 1, x must be 4 times that, or 4. In general, once you get half the answer, you can substitute that back into either one of the first two equations to solve for the other variable. So I could have plugged the 1 into the first equation and solved that and still found that x equals 4. Either way, you get the same answer. It just turns out that when you're doing substitution, we've already got x equals something in terms of y. So once we find y, that's the easiest way to find x. Either way, though, we get this combination. So the solution is the point 4, 1. That's the point where the two lines cross.